Hello everyone, White Mage Serenia here along with... Archmage Kalen. And the devil, I mean the Neon Demon. <laughs> and somebody else in the back. Samurai, Samurai Fox. There we go. Hello. <laughs> yeah, and right now, I'm not doing anything like super major awesome in game right now, but that's not the point. I just needed something in the background because this is actually a let's discuss video, guys. Because for the longest time, for the last like year or so or more, in fact, I've been trying to think of something that I could call you guys, the viewers. And I couldn't think of anything at all that didn't sound too cheesy as like, you know, fellow white mages or or like um, holy knights or anything of that nature. I couldn't think of anything that worked that didn't sound overly cheesy. I wanted something simple, something that could just say. And it just hit me. It just hit me tonight on 8-11-2014 at 4.13 in the morning. And it hit me like a ton of bricks. And what I'm wanting to do is I'm wanting to discuss with you guys, and I'm also wanting suggestions and feedback in case maybe you want to suggest something else. And, you know, and maybe if I like it, we, we can vote on it or whatever. Otherwise, I might go with this one. Anyway, the thing that hit me while I'm a white mage and I keep thinking, what keeps me going? And then it hit me, just out of nowhere, mana pots, or mana pots if you prefer. And I was sitting there thinking, that works, because you guys keep me going much in the same way that a mana potion keeps any mage going. And somehow that just like, oh my god, it works. It was like an epiphany moment, it's like, aha, I love it. But... That's what I'm doing this for. I want to lay it on the table and see what you guys think. Maybe you have some other suggestions. I don't know. So I, I kind of want to get feedback, and you guys can throw in input as well. My my panel. Don't you mean? Don't you mean ethers? Ethers too. <clears throat> but mana pot's a bit more of an over in over all encompassing term. Plus, ether is actually a real life term, which is not what it does in gaming. <laughs> what about a multi pot? What about high potion? Balls. <laughs> what about an elixir? How about a high elixir? Ooh, hey, elixir could work. You got <laughs> subscribe. You become an elixir today. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> now I'll, I'll let Archmage use that one. <laughs> I uh, no 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 <laughs> no thank you. Uh, the the oh. thing about Archmage is there there's there's more than just things that more more than just magic that keeps me going. As an archmage, as as a YouTuber myself, it, in all honesty, it's just a matter of finding the rhythm, finding my rhythm. In all, it, that's just pretty much where it came from. Yeah, anyway, that that's neither here nor there. Subject at hand. Before he started up the recording, let's just put it this way. I cracked up. <laughs> I cracked up when I heard it. Yeah, and it... then my immediate my immediate thinking was. Why couldn't I have been the one to think of something so <laughs> clever like that? Yeah, and okay, look, it's funny <laughs> as hell too because when I first um, when I first started playing Final Fantasy XIV, I I really I didn't want to bring Serenia over I, like at all because to me I thought that she should she was better off being left in Vanadil. You know, her time was there, her memories were there, this and the other thing. But then as time went on, I eventually brought her over to fourteen. But naturally, I needed a surname, a last name, if you will. And I couldn't think of anything that suited her. I, I couldn't. And, just like with this mana pot thing, it hit me like a ton of bricks of, in the shower of all places, which seems to be my epiphany maker. I don't know why. But... <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's, 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 a, it's a calming... It's a calming place. It's, there's nothing like water running over you to kind of kind of make it feel comfortable. Make you feel at home in your, with yourself, at least. I guess that's true, but it's just weird and because that's. Go ahead. Yeah, but anyway, it's just weird because I couldn't think of a single name, and the next thing I know, I was in the shower one day, wasn't even thinking about a name at all. It's just like, boom, Lynn popped into my head, and it's like it's simple and it works. Serenia Lynn, it works, and that's kind of how she got her last name. So you know, so this whole mana pot thing, it, that's the exact same scenario. It hit me like a ton of bricks. I wasn't even thinking about it. It was just a random thought popped in my head. And boom. I was like, I could call my audience that if they like it. Oh. And, and You'd yeah, have so to come up with a whole... Uh, you have to come up with a slightly different greeting to, to, to mix with it, but Potentially, it works. yeah. Like, instead of saying, hello, everyone, I could say, like, hello, my mana pots. Be a small change. It's whatever. Oh. 
Which, yeah, that, that being that, said, yeah. I have considered changing my greeting, to be honest. Because I can do my opener off the drop of a hat. I can do it without even thinking about it. Can Simply put, squigglies? That's for your channel, Neon. Yeah, Get on I, that. I... <laughs> In all honesty, I don't what know how channel? many times or... I, I'm not sure how many of you um, on Serenia's channel have crossed over and checked out mine. But I, I do have a couple of videos where... He has, literally at the drop of a hat, introduced himself with a greeting. Like, hello everyone, welcome, this is White Mage Serena here, you're welcoming you to the Skype call. Or, hello or, everyone, White Mage Serena here, here, welcoming you to let Dale ramble. Oh yeah. Excuse me. I'll, I'll edit Whatever. that. Whatever. <laughs> like I said, I'll, I'll edit that bit a little bit. Anyway, but yeah, I mean, at the drop of a freaking hat, like she said, hello everyone, White Mage Serena here, welcoming you to listen to my video. Just without thinking. <laughs> You know, can you just, see how that gets old? It, it, it sounds rehearsed because of that. I, I guess so, but realistically, that's the only part that would be. I mean, I, I'm, I'm, I'm seriously, like, before I used to do this channel as just a hobby, so therefore I didn't really put a lot of thought into it. But, well, I mean, I put a lot of thought into it, but I mean, I didn't go all out. And, I, and just recently, I've been wanting to start trying to go all out and really make my channel something. I've been wanting to put proper effort into it. For multiple reasons, really. And as a result, that means I want to start making, you know, videos more. That means I want to start making my videos of a better quality. That means I want to try to connect with you guys. And as a result, I actually have a difficult time keeping up with social media. Like, I don't go to Twitter very much. I don't go to Facebook very much. And I probably should. I should try to get with the times, I guess, as they say. Play more games like Vanish. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> You know. you know that's gonna come up, man. You know that yeah, is gonna come uh, up at some point. I know. There is no is avoiding it. it. I still am a big proponent of saying that you should play the evil when it comes up. Not when it comes out. Hell no. All right, a month after it comes out, or right, two uh, weeks after it comes out, or something. Uh, I'd really rather not. <laughs> I love how this took like a huge, 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 huge tangent off of the original subject. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> hey, this is a let's discuss. He's talking about his channel. This yeah, true. Yeah, his it's, channel. It is true. I personally think you should do the evil within. It's up to him. And the audience stabs him, I so too, but that's just me. <laughs> Yo, people seem really like you playing you Manus, you Amnesia. No, that's because, as people said, my reactions felt more genuine there. Which, again, the only thing that's properly rehearsed in any of my videos is quite simply, Hello everyone, White Mate Serenia here, welcome you back to my video. That, that's pretty much the only thing. Everything else Amnesia's is genuine. Amnesia's a little overdone, though, by the way. Eh? What? The Amnesia's a little overdone. <sighs> yeah, what's that got to do with anything? I eventually, I'd love to see you do Amnesia. Oh, I didn't hear you say that, sorry. Yeah, everyone's talking at once. All good. <laughs> yeah. Um. But yeah, I mean, there, there's. I just don't know really what direction to take my channel. There, like, I, I've been mentioning this in passing before, and there's one person I would love to do a co a collaboration or a cooperative thing with, but I can't get in contact with him. No matter how hard I try, I just can't contact him. And I would love to do a collab with NCS. That is Nintendo Capri Sun. For those that you, those of you that don't know who that is, it, it's like. I've always wanted to do something with him, but it never seems to be able to... I, I can't seem to get his attention, you know what I mean? And that's sad. Because he's a cool guy. If you, if you haven't uh, subscribed to NCS yet, if you don't know who he is, check him out. Same thing with Arch Archmage Kalen over here, and Samus Samurai Fox. Why not? They're all cool people. Um, Unlike me, I'm not cool. Hey, hey, you don't have a proper channel yeah. yet. Mm. I don't even know what to do, so... You have Demon Wolf Gaming, but you don't even... You know, you don't even talk to Dustin anymore. To my knowledge. Well, I just still do, just... He's busy, and... I probably should make my own channel, but that's a different discussion, isn't it? That's yeah. a, I don't even know where yeah. to start. That, that, that's a discussion for a different day. And not on video. <laughs> yeah, maybe on video. There is one know. thing I think you should start with. I started with Final Fantasy VI because it was an amazing place. It's an amazing game for me. And quite frankly, it's very likely to be my favorite game ever. In turn, you know that's the first game that comes to mind. And you have a game like that too. 
I'm not going to say exactly what it is, but I will give you letters so that people in the know might figure it out. L-O-K-B-O. Lockbo. That would Cheater. be a glorious LP. And here's the thing. You've got to start somewhere. I mean, it, it, it's... Getting into Let's Playing, you kind of... Like, for me, eventually... Uh, like, okay, initially for me when I started Let's Playing, it was simply because I wanted to share an experience. Like, okay, I don't know if I've ever actually officially went over this. Also, please ignore the uh, the noise you hear in the background here. Um, you'll hear it in the video, but you won't hear it over Skype. That is um, FFXIV timers. I have that pulled up because I'm watching a lot of nodes from my botanist, which is exactly what I'm doing here. Um, and um, so, yeah, that, that's what that is. It's alerting me that the nodes are up. Anyway, that's besides the point. But, yeah, like, for me, it was because... All right, I don't know if I've ever actually told my origin story, as it were, but... I'll go ahead and, and, and sort of mention it now. When I first got into Let's Playing, I was watching this YouTuber by the name of H.C. Bailey for quite some time. He was doing things like Mario Paint Composer videos and, and this, that, and the other thing. And I just, I genuinely enjoyed watching his content at the time. And then he, he started doing these, like, demo videos where he was showing clips from, like, Final Fantasy V, like the fight with the Four Fiends, and talking over it because he was saying, you know, oh, well, this is just testing for a new series that I'm wanting to get into, so it's practice. And, you know, this, that, and the other. And I'm thinking, okay, I can get into that. Cool, I'll watch gameplay videos and, and with commentary. It could be fun. And next thing I know, he sh comes up with this game called Let's Play Arcana. At least that's what I thought the name of the game was. I thought it was Let's Play Arcana. And I thought, that's a weird name for a game, but okay, I'll bite, whatever. And I started watching that part, and then partway through, he retires it, and then he does Let's Play Final Fantasy. And it was then, I was like, Oh, I get ya. I understand what's going on now. And then, lo and behold, the very next week, that's when I released Let's Play Final Fantasy VI Part One. At least I think it was the next week. I know it was pretty quick after I saw that and understood what was going on. I started looking into it. I started playing with uh, Windows Movie Maker and things like that. I already had... Well, actually, I was playing with Windows Movie Maker a lot sooner than that because I was messing around, you know, with, with, uh, with Windows Movie Maker trying to figure out how to do videos. And I had posted a few... Final Fantasy 11 videos and the like. So, I was doing stuff like that already. And, you know, when I, when I saw Let's Play Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy, I just instantly knew. And then I wanted to share my experiences, both old and new, with you guys. And that's kind of where I started. And that's kind of where it kept going. And now, I, I feel that, I don't know, maybe I, I feel like I've lost some spark or... I don't know. And then, then, then there's times where I get so focused on the game that I don't know what to say. That's a very evident in uh, Crisis, for example. Which, just so you guys know, Crisis is fully done. It's recorded. The only thing that I have to do now is edit and post. So that'll be probably that'll be up probably by the end of this week, maybe. Um, and then from there, I can focus on Watch Dogs and Dust and Elysian Tale. Um, and I, I feel that. There, I have a few other things coming down the pipeline as well. Um, I've got Tales of Fantasia PS1 I really want to do. Um, Wild Arms 2 I want to get to. Wild Arms 3 as well. Um, might actually do uh, Half-Life again. Uh, Neon kind of convinced me to maybe go back and try that again um, with a fresh mindset. And so I might do that. Um, so yeah, I mean, I've got all kinds of stuff. you got planned. some follow-up projects too. Follow-up? Sequels to games... Oh, you mean, yeah, like, Darksiders 2, Mass Effect 2, and um, Crisis 2, for example. And Arkham City. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that one. You had so much fun playing that one, I'm surprised you forgot about that one. Same. But then again, it's, it wasn't fresh on my mind like the other three were, because we were just talking about that last week. But yeah, I mean, like I said, I've got all kinds of stuff that I can do. But the only thing is, I, I honestly don't, like, know... If you guys even like like half the stuff that I post anymore, well, not, I don't mean to say it like that. What I mean is, when I'm doing a series, I don't know if you guys are like into it. And I and part of what 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 keeps me down anymore, I've noticed, is I'll I'll enjoy recording a game, but then what'll happen is I'm like, <coughs> I gotta record that game, and it starts to suck the fun out of that game. Which, as which, how do I say this without sounding pretentious? Because I don't know where I'm going with this. Because I don't mind if you guys aren't, like, watching it. I'm not, like, one of those people. But at the same time, I do kind of, like, want to know... Ah, crap, I just fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Oh, jeez. Oh. Yes. What? Nope, oh, that's nothing. I, I I screwed up. I didn't wait for... Oh, good. Okay, never mind. I didn't screw up. I got lucky. Oof, thank you. Alright, I'm gonna walk it. Man. Basically, anyway, what I did... Anyway, get back to your point right, right, right. before you derail yourself. Right, right, right. Anyway, like, I don't like leaving projects unfinished. That's why I kind of push myself to do them. But if they're not getting, like... If no one's really interested in watching it, I feel like I'm wasting my time and your guys' time when I post a video like that. So, part of there's another part of me that wants to be like, okay, so what I'll start doing then is I'll post episode one of a project or something. Like, I'll do, say, I'll just, I'll just pick a random game and back off the top of my head. Let's say I do let's Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. That is just the first thing popped into my head, right? So let's say I'm doing a Let's Play on that. I'll post, like, the first couple of episodes there, and then if you guys seem interested, I'll continue it. Or if you don't seem interested, I won't continue it. And especially if it's like a new game, like Watch Dogs is a good example, I would post like the first few episodes, and then if you guys were interested in seeing more, I would play more for you guys. Otherwise, I'd just play casually in the background. You know, unless you guys find it for yourself or whatever. So I don't really know which style with that I want to take on. I don't, because another issue that I have with my Let's Playing channel is it starts to get to the point where... Anytime, anytime I'm playing a game, be it new or old, my brain's thinking, oh, I could record this, and I keep that in the back of my mind, so therefore it makes me not be able to enjoy the game near as much as I could be, unless I was recording it. So, I need to really, there's a lot of stuff I need to sort out in my mind and with my channel, and I guess that's where you guys could help. Um, suggestions are, are very much appreciated, and I'd really like to start connecting with you guys and actually bring the let's play aspect back to the forefront instead of you guys watching me play. So, any feedback is appreciated at this point. Um, in all honesty, while you could post, like, the first couple of episodes as a teaser, um, if you're gonna do something, I would just go all the way rather than starting a series and then stopping. Because if you're noticing that a lot of people have no interest in certain games, even though you do, it may discourage you further. That's especially true. if your most, especially if your most viewed and most interesting thing is a game type and genre you have no interest in. Well, can I throw in something over it? That's kind of easy to say until you get into games like RPGs that are really fucking long. And then if you make a bunch of those and people have no interest in that game, you've wasted a lot of time. Yeah, that, that's partly why I haven't been doing as many RPGs lately. Because I really do, like, I want to go, I actually do want to LP things like Final Fantasy X and X-2 and twelve. Um... Which, now that I have the HD collection of Final Fantasy X, that'd be a great platform Final to do Final Fantasy that XV... He needs your help, yeah. guys. He needs a PS4. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, yeah, I mean, I, I want to do things like that, but at the same time, those RPGs are... They take a lot of time and effort to do. They really, truly do. And, see, I can play through an, a long RPG like Final Fantasy XII in, like, three days. I, I, can, I can marathon it and be done. Only problem is, realistically, that, you know, what ends up happening for me there is, you know, I, I'll marathon it, and I'm done, but when it comes to Let's Playing, I can only record so much at a time, and it makes me feel like it's going to take months and months and months to do something I could otherwise do in, like, three or four days. So, it, it, it gets well, a little tedious so in that regard. So, there's a lot of things I need to sort through, a lot of things I need to work out, and things like that. But yeah, back to the main... Well, huh? To, before before you get back onto the main point, there is one one thing of note I can say as to why you personally and even I personally can only handle recording for so long at a time on certain games, be it blind or you're going through it for the the umpteenth time. It's because recording when you're recording, you end up doing a lot more. You're you're, you're talking a lot more, thus it's more exhausting rather than just going through the game and playing it on your own. 
Yeah, and see, that's that's actually so something you're, else. You're expending, you're you're expending more energy doing that than you are if you were to just sit there and play the game. Yeah, and that's something else too that kind of does get to me, because I, I'm I'm someone who well I've been a gamer pretty much all my life, pretty much, and it's something that I, I do, and and like ever since I started let's playing. It, it's something that I've never, I haven't really been able to, able to properly do, although I have at the same time. See, I'm someone who I can sit down and play a game all day, a single player game. I I can play it all day. I don't get bored of things very easily. I don't get burnt out of on things very easily. It's just when I have to start thinking about keeping schedules and and making sure it's of a certain quality and making sure that I'm saying all the right things. Well, not necessarily all the right things, but keep the commentary flowing, and when I actually have to actively think, I've got to entertain people, or something like that, or, or things like that, it makes it very, very taxing and very exhausting. So what I need to figure out how to do, personally, is figure out how to balance that to where it doesn't feel like that. I need to be able to just not think about things like that and just let things come naturally. And as you guys know, I've been talking about that off and on, like on Facebook and whatnot, for the past several months. And I just, I don't know which way to go or how to just, I guess, find my zen point, we'll say. Well, your zen point will come to you. Um, it, it, may, it may be that you'll find your zen point when, um, well, to point something out, you may, it may hit you when you're in the shower one day. Tell me about it. I am going to throw something out that you might not like to hear, but you do seem to enjoy the process a lot more when you're streaming than when you're recording. Well, that's because... Because then you can shut your... You, 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 it's pretty much just play the game and entertain people with it, you know? Ah, speaking of streaming, guys, I'm moving away from Twitch TV, and I'm actually going to be moving to a website called hitbox.tv. So be sure to check that out as well, guys. More information on that next time I stream, I guess. But, um... Um, actually, yeah, I'll just let that one go, in all honesty. Yeah. But we'll, we'll post more information on that whenever we do stream on there. I'm, I'm on Hitbox as well, along with Sam and Sam Redbox, and even, even Roke64 hopped over there. Yep. But. Well, he's just Roke over there now. Neither here nor there. Well, yeah, he, yeah, he's just Roke over there, but point is, he's there. Yes. Hey, yeah. that's neither here nor there. Right. Um, anyway, though, guys, um, back to the original point, though. If you guys would like to suggest a name, potentially, for my audience, or if you like my mana pod idea, or any other that you might have heard from in this video here, just let me know. If you have any ideas at all with how I can try to improve either myself or my channel, guys, please let me know. At this point, I'm sincerely open to suggestions. And... Even if it's a horror game, I might give it a try. Evil within. Evil within. I can't <laughs> promise results, but we'll see how it goes. Either way, I do want to try to dedicate... I'm going to see you play Outlast, actually. Outlast? No, that's... No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Either that or The Last of Us. <laughs> the Last of Us is a maybe, but unlikely. But, but, yeah, I mean, like, I, I really do want to find a way to better myself and better my channel. Because, guys, I, I really, truly want to bring you guys good experiences. I want to show kind of like my experience as a gamer. I want to share it with you guys, and I want to connect with you guys as well. I, I want to... I don't really know. I, I, I want to say something along the lines of, I want to bring gaming to the forefront or whatever. But, no, I can't rely on I can't realistically do that. that that's, that's so cheesy to say, too. But I just want to prove that gamers are better than what the media seems to portray us as, essentially, I guess. I don't even know. It's, but yeah, I want to just have a gaming community. I want that. <laughs> well, you kind of have one started on Hitbox if you search the team Shining Waltz. We're all together there. Yep. So that's the start of a community. In a sense, if streaming wise. No, but yeah. So guys, I, I want to. I, I can't. I've been talking for about twenty five minutes here and showing random footage from Final Fantasy fourteen. Um, but anyway, I actually, 
I want to close the video by saying, if you guys want to be called my mana pots, let me know. If you have another name you want to suggest that I can maybe consider, feel free to leave that comment as well. Also, if any of you guys watch both me and Nintendo Capri Sun, please try to help me get in contact with him. I would love to be able to do a collaboration with him in particular. Um, and also, at the same time, if there's any if there's any LPR you would like to see me try to collab with, let me know, and I'll try to contact them, and I'll try to set things up, guys. I really want to get the ball rolling. I really want to just share my experience as a gamer with you guys, and I, I, I just want to share new experiences, maybe create new experiences, and I really want to get the ball rolling, like I said. So anyway, guys, this has been White Mage Serenia along with... Archmage Kalen. And the Neon Demon. And the Summer Samurai Fox, so... Signing off this Let's Discuss slash update slash vlog, blog, I don't even know. <laughs> Until then, Whatever guys. It is. Yeah, until then, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and be on the lookout for more Crisis, Watchdogs, and Dust and Elysian Tale. Until then, thanks for watching, guys. See you again real soon.